2017 final, your first Masters 1000 title. Just go ahead and play the first clip, which should mm -hmm. be you in the tunnel, and just kind of walk us through that moment. Well, I was excited. Playing my first Masters final against Novak uh, was, as a 20-year-old, you, you just walk on court, you kind of just, okay, I'm going to play a tennis match. There's nothing, nothing that you expect. I mean, I wasn't a favorite in any way. I didn't have any expectations, and I was just enjoying the moment, to be honest. For sure, you're nervous uh, walking out in that center court. What, there's 15, 16,000 people watching, and you're playing the, the world number one. But you just enjoy the moment. You. You kind of want to play for yourself in a way, and yeah, I was I was just enjoying it. Pretty good start. I mean, this young man has has been absolutely unflappable this week. Yeah, I, I broke him straight away. Usually, as you just said, you kind of walk on the court, you think you have some nerves, you think uh, it's going to be. Not an easy match. Even on that point, uh, I kind of hit the second serve return as hard as I could. <laughs> that was uh, that was what I was doing in, in the first game in general. Backhand again. Right around that 125 kilometer an hour mark, he gives that thing a good match. When did you settle? I was I was seeing the ball big. Everything kind of was in slow motion a little bit, and that's like the perfect thing for a tennis player. When when you feel like the other the opponent is playing slow, then you feel like you have extra time. You have extra time to set up. You feel like you can do more things with the ball. You can have more variety, like this drop shot. And oh, this was an exquisite drop shot. I was just enjoying the moment. I was not. There was no nerves involved. Like now nowadays. For me, I'm expected to do these kind of things. Like I'm expected to win big tournaments. I'm expected to to reach finals of those kind of tournaments. And back then, I was a 20 year old. I was ranked 20 in the world. I was not expected to do anything. So you can kind of enjoy it more. That is too good. Enjoy the moment being on the court with the best players in the world. And um, I think that's a big difference towards when you're young and when you have expectations. About as good a set of tennis as he could have hoped for in his first Masters 1000 final. Zverev wins the opening set, 6-4. I felt extremely comfortable on the court. I kind of felt comfortable moving on that court. And uh, I think that helped me a lot as well against Novak, because Novak is someone that tries to change directions. Every, you know, every shot that he can and tries to move you in on a clay court, you have to feel well uh, to be able to kind of stand with him. You know, at, at this point, even the long rallies, I felt like I was with Novak. I was, I felt like I was competing with him in, in those long rallies, and I didn't mind him. So I think that's that's a great feeling to have. I think it's more towards the end of the match. You kind of start thinking more uh, when I was when I was up and when I had match points. That's where the thoughts kind of come in your head. The return wasn't a very clean hit, but it kind of put him in an uncomfortable situation where the ball bounced extremely high. I was I was very happy that he missed that backhand. <laughs> the next few shots, I don't know how they would have gone down. <laughs> the youngest Rome champion since Rafa won it in 2006 at 19 years of age. Zverev has just turned 20. That one was very special because I received it from Rod Laver. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm winning my first Masters. Not only have I won that trophy, but I received it from one of the greatest players of all time. So that one was, yeah, I remember that moment. I will never forget that. I started believing. Facciamo che i fotografi facciano le foto di Rito al grande campione.